Alex. We've got Princess here. Princess's oh, owner has beautiful. found her with a fish hook through her paw. Oh, that's not good. As soon as Princess comes through, I see she's a beautiful Bengal cat and she's a Bengal with a fish hook stuck through her foot. Bengal cats are highly intelligent and they're known for their intense, lively personalities. Wow, that looks like a big hook as well. Oh, sweetheart, it's okay. All right, that's definitely gonna be a little bit uncomfortable. How do you know, how did they, they just found it like that or yeah, do we know how long it's been? Came into the house um, with the fish hook okay. in her foot and um, she's quite a vocal cat anyway, so her owner wasn't too worried, but then he saw the fish hook. So. <laughs> and that's a good reason to be noisy. Oh, isn't she beautiful? Look at her. I can't imagine how painful this must be for Princess. I need to get her out from the carrier and assess her but I need to do it carefully. Amelia, can you just give me a hand here? Oh, sweetheart. Good girl. She's actually got it caught underneath the... Good girl. The... Yeah, just... Yeah. I go to lift Princess out of the cage and I realise that the fishing line is actually tangled around the cage wire. She's got a string. Good girl. Yep, once we cut the string, we should be okay. Good girl. No, she's worried about the doggies too. Yep. Got it? Okay, great. Oh, she's going to get caught in the towel now. Have you got um, a music cork or something? Yeah, let's just lift her out of the cage because I feel like the cage is dangerous for her to start with. Okay, good girl. Oh, she didn't tore her eye. Mm. What I need to do now is cut the barb off the fishing hook. Otherwise, it's going to keep getting caught and it'll do more damage. Oh. Yeah. Oh, good go. girl, there we go. Princess is not going to let me remove this hook without some pain relief and some sedation, and I don't blame her. Hey, sweetie, good girl, you poor thing. Very straight, would you like? Um, let's just go 0.2 mix per kilo. I think she's probably about a four kilo cat. Probably on the scales. Good girl, good girl. There we go. Poor thing. 4.2. All right, sweetheart. Good girl, princess. Princess, she's got a beautiful coat. She's 4.2 kilos. Okay. All righty. I'm gonna have to try to get her this out of her foot. While we wait for the sedation to have effect, it's important that we keep princess calm and reassured, and she seems to be enjoying the attention. Let's just let that pain relief really kick in first. And then what has she done to her eye at the same time? I've been so focused on the fish hook that I haven't noticed there's something wrong with Princess's eye. She's actually done more damage to her eye. I'm trying to get it out. I'm trying to get it out. This may be more serious than I thought. If the fish hook has somehow lacerated her eye, the injury could be devastating. Princess is relaxing with the sedation, but now she's becoming a little bit too comfortable. <laughs> no. Oh! No, 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 no. That's a bit naughty. You are so cute, Bite me. Girl, That's naughty. You can tell this comes from a Bengal owner. Yeah, exactly right. I'm like, you're so cute. <laughs> I do like the mink colour. And did you listen to Chess Yeah, Chess are fine. Um, I really do want a good look at that eye, but we might just have to wait till... She might need a bit of... Yeah, it's a bit of sedation or something. <laughs> Bengals do have a bit of a reputation for for um, being quite handy with their, their teeth and, and oh, claws. I do not support this. <laughs> Demelza has a Bengal, so she's quite familiar. What would you say about their personality? They can be, they can be assertive. assertive. They, they like to know who's boss. Yeah. Now that Princess is sedated, I'm going to try and remove this hook. Let's have a go at getting that out. I might get some forceps. Yep. See if we can. We'll just give it one go. But given that the we've cut off the um, the barb, reasonably confident that should come out. But I'm sure Princess will tell us if if it's not if that's not okay. I'm just trying to get a look at that eye. I'm just get her to look at me a bit. She doesn't like. Mm. You'll have to pull it back and it like that blue eye. 
Okay. Yep. Okay, right. I need to be very careful. Any wrong move and I could do some serious damage. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay. okay. Just give it a go. We'll just try and follow that same line as it went in. You right, Jane? Yep. One. Okay, let's pop that away somewhere safe. It's a success, the fish hook is out, but I'm still concerned about this eye. All right, we might pop her in a bed. I'm, I just wanna go and talk to her family about that eye situation and, and what we're gonna do. You're very cute, aren't you? Okay. Yeah, I'm All right, let's go speak to Princess's family, see what happened. So we're going to go and call Princess's family and have a chat to them, tell them the good news that we've been able to get the fish hook out of her foot, which is great, but now I'm worried about her eye because it's tearing, it looks painful, and I don't know whether that's something that's happened as part of the fish hook saga or whether this is something completely different. Hi, is that Ronnie? Hey Ronnie, it's Dr Alex Hines here on the vet looking after your girl Princess today. Hi, yeah, you must have had a bit of a, a shock this morning to find that fish hook. Tell me a bit about what happened. Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, and I also noticed, Ronnie, that uh, her eye looks very sore. Is that something, is that a new thing or? Okay, so an old injury that, that doesn't bother her too much, but just make, cause, okay. That, that's good. I just wanted to make sure that, that, you know, she hadn't been trying to get the hook out and somehow managed to damage her eye or anything like that. But if that's an, an old an old thing from when she was a kitten. Um, it's certainly the eye itself looks all right. It's just, it, you're quite right, it's just tearing a lot. Um, but but that's that's good. Well, the good news is that we managed to cut the hook and, and pull it out. So it's out um, of her foot, which is great. What I'd like to do now is obviously we, we get concerned about her getting infection from having something like that going through her foot. So we'll get her started on some antibiotics and uh, just a little bit of pain relief, but she should be all good to go home today. Okay, so it won't be too long. I'll, I'll give her that medication um, and then I'll get her back out to you, okay? All right, Ronnie, bye. So I've spoken to Ronnie, Princess's owner. He tells me that the eye is actually an old injury from when she was a kitten and it does tear, but otherwise doesn't cause Princess any bother. So that's not something related to the fish hook incident today. Main thing is the fish hook is out of her foot. We just need to start her on some antibiotics now to make sure that it doesn't get infected, give it a good clean up, but otherwise she's good to go home. Fish hook injuries are a very common emergency that we see and Today, Princess has got off fairly lightly, but it can be so much worse. They can swallow them, they can get them hooked uh, through different parts of their body, through their eye, all sorts of things. They really are quite treacherous. So to all the fishermen out there, please make sure you put your hooks away safely. It really does cause a lot of damage, not only to wildlife, but to our domestic pets as well. So we've got a little antibiotic shot here for her and some pain relief, and then she could be good to go. Okay. Good girl, sweetie. Good girl. Gun! Go, go, gun! Here you go. I'm going to go home to your bunny now, eh? Hey? Good girl. Good girl. Mm -hmm. she, doesn't, she doesn't look any the worse to wear for her little adventure today. Sorry? But I think she'll be glad to be home. Come on. He was very happy with that. He said she she is a bit of a, a fan of giving a, a little love bite and sometimes it's a bit harder than just a, a gentle one as well. So definitely a character. Okay, ready for the next patient. Hi, I'm Dr. Danny Dusek from Bondi Vet. If you love our show and want to see more, plus some amazing content about pets and how to care for them, hit the subscribe button. Click that little notification bell and we'll see you on our next video.